Well, good morning. I give you a warm welcome to our online all age service as we gather as Viewfield Baptist Church. Um, the online service is actually going to be a repeat of last year's all age service. It's going to be on the fruit of the Spirit and it's going to lead in well um, because we're going to be having a series. I'm going to be doing a series on the fruit of the Spirit starting after the summer. So I hope you'll be encouraged by the service, you'll be blessed by what takes place and the songs and those who will be involved in it. Um, and please remember, if you have any pastoral needs, don't hesitate to, to get in touch, to contact the office. You're part of the family, uh, you're loved. Um, from the youngest to the oldest, everyone is part of our Viewfield family and we're journeying forward uh, together. So I give you a warm welcome. Please uh, read a copy of the bulletin. You can download a copy from the, the website. There's different fellowship activities that are happening uh, just now. We've had encouragements of baptisms and people seeking membership. Um, so we give God the glory for all that. And we have an up and coming church meeting that's happening um, on Wednesday. If you'd like to be part of that, please contact the office and come along. It'd be great if you could. Um, but I want to just begin with a, a word of prayer and then we're going to continue to worship God as we sing together. So let's pray. God, I just thank you so much that we can gather together today. Thank you for your presence that is with every single one of us in all the different locations in which we are, whether it's a living room or a kitchen or someone's out for a walk and listening to the service. God, you're with us everywhere. And we thank you for your kindness, your mercy, your grace. And Lord, we just pray that as your Holy Spirit works within us, you would produce more and more of that good fruit, that you would change us, that you would transform us from the inside out, that we would be salt and that we would be light, that we would make a difference in our families, in our neighbourhoods, in our world. Lord, we pray, come Holy Spirit, have your own way this morning. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Let's sing together and worship God. Good morning everyone. It's great to be with you this morning. Wherever you are, let's join together and worship.
we celebrated Pentecost. That's the time when we particularly celebrate the fact that God sent his Holy Spirit into the world uh, to help people to follow him. 
We were thinking about things which we know are real even though we can't see them. And we were thinking about signs which help us to know that those things are real. So for example, when we see the trees, the branches of the trees waving, we know that that means the wind is blowing. Or when we see a lamp lit up, we know that there's electricity making it work. And then we thought about the fact that although we can't see God's Holy Spirit, we can know that he is in people's lives. And when God first sent the Holy Spirit to the Christians, soon after Jesus died and rose again and went back to heaven, the, that first day when the Holy Spirit came, the people who were there saw what looked like flames of fire on the tops of the heads of the Christians. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never seen flames on the heads of any Christians. So how do we know nowadays that somebody has the Holy Spirit living within them? Well, that's what we're going to be thinking about in our service today, and a bit more about that later on. But first we're going to sing another song. And this song is one that we learnt at the family service a few weeks ago. And it talks about the fact that we, as Christians, are like power packs, or that's another word for batteries. And just as a battery uh, has the, the power stored within it to make something work, uh, in that way the Holy Spirit comes into our lives and gives us the power to live the way that he wants us to live. And so it doesn't matter whether we think we're small or weak or we think we're just not very good at being good. We don't need to do these things ourselves. The Holy Spirit comes into our lives and gives us the power to live the way he wants us to live. So let's sing together. I'm a power pack. I'm a power pack. I'm a power pack. I may be small, but I'm powerful. God has made me that way. Recharged by the Holy Spirit every day. I'm a power pack. I'm a power pack. I'm a power pack. I'm a power pack. Being connected to Jesus lights me on my way, giving me the power to live each day. I'm a power pack. 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 Right, so I've got a quiz for you today. It's all about trees, so I hope you know your trees. I'm gonna show you 10 pictures of trees and you need to either think about or discuss or write down what type of tree you think it is. So here is tree number one. This is tree number two. Tree number three. Tree number four, this is tree five, tree six, tree number seven, tree eight, tree number nine, and finally, tree 10. So let's see how well you did there. The so tree number one was an oak tree. Tree number two, one of my favourite types of tree, a monkey puzzle tree. Those trees in number three are pine trees. Tree number four is a silver birch. Tree number five is a lovely cherry blossom tree. Tree number six is an apple tree. In number seven, we've got an apple tree. Number eight, that's an apple tree. Tree number nine, that's an apple tree. And finally, tree 10, that's an apple tree. Hang on a minute, Ali. 
these can all be apple trees. They all look completely different. So how can they all be apple trees? Well, what makes a tree an apple tree? What, what do they all have growing on them? Um, apples? Exactly. All apple trees have apples growing on them. That's how we know that they're an apple tree. But there are actually lots of different types of apple trees and they all grow lots of different types of apples. But those, tr and those trees can look the same, but they can also look different. Ah, okay. So that's actually a bit like Christians and the Holy Spirit. Christians all look different. We like different things. God asks us to do different things. We um, have different opinions, but we all have the Holy Spirit living in us. So just as you know a tree is an apple tree because it has apples growing on it, so you know someone's a Christian because they have the Holy Spirit living in them. Yeah, that's exactly right. Only, I guess the question is, how do we know that someone has the Holy Spirit living in them? Because we can see the apples on an apple tree, but we can't see the Holy Spirit in somebody. Well, interestingly, the Bible has something to say about that. And Abby and Mia are going to read the, those verses to us. Today's reading is taken from Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 26. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. So those verses that Abby and Mia have just read to us explain our what our behaviour should be like when the Holy Spirit lives in us. Paul in those verses describes those characteristics as the fruit of the Spirit. They are characteristics which people would be able to see when we behave like that. They'd be able to see that the Holy Spirit is living inside us, just in the same way as apples on an apple tree show us that it is an apple tree. So let's have a look at some of those fruits. First of all, there's love. In John chapter 13, verse 34, it says, Love one another as I have loved you. Next, we have joy. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1, it says, The Lord has filled my heart with joy. The next one is peace. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6 says, God blesses those who work for peace. Then we have patience. James chapter 1 verse 4 says, Let your patience show itself perfectly in what you do. Then there's kindness. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 7 says, To your service for God, add kindness for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Then we have goodness. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 9 it says, Make your light shine. Be good and honest and truthful. The next one is faithfulness. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 11 says, Be faithful, loving, dependable and gentle. Then we have gentleness. In Colossians 3 uh, verse 12 it says, Clothe yourself with mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. And the last one is self-control. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says, His spirit fills us with power, love and self-control. So we've looked at all the different fruits. So now I think it's time for us to pick one that we want to have in our lives. I'm going to pick joy. I think that one sounds really exciting. Some of those other ones, a bit too difficult for me. No, Ali, you have completely missed the point. Oh. It's not a choice. The Holy Spirit wants to grow all of those things in our lives and all Christians should have all of these things. So it's some of them, yes, some of them are really hard, but instead of picking the ones that we want to have, we 
need to have all of these things. Do you remember uh, the song we sang earlier in the service where we talked about the Holy Spirit coming and giving us power to help us to live the way he wants mm. us to live? So we need to ask the Holy Spirit to help us with these things and to help us to have these characteristics in our life. Oh, so is that why it's called fruit of the Spirit and not fruits of the Spirit? Because these aren't lots of different fruits for us to choose from, but together they make the fruit that we see from the Holy Spirit growing in our lives. Yes, that's right. So instead of uh, picking the one that we like the look of, maybe it would be better to ask the Holy Spirit to show us if there's something that we need to particularly work on in our lives and ask him to help us with those ones that we are maybe finding the hardest. The Holy Spirit will give us the power and the ability to allow these fruit to grow in our life. Ah, good idea, good idea. Maybe, as Ali leads us in prayer, we can each be thinking about and asking God to show us which of these characteristics he wants to grow more in our lives. Dear God, help me to love you with all my heart and to have a selfless love for my family, friends and everyone I meet. Please help me to be a joyful person so that I can praise you through all circumstances, when things are good and even when I am struggling. Please fill me with so much peace that it seems impossible. Grow in me the ability to trust you and not to worry. Help me to be more patient and to wait for your timing. Help me to deal with difficult situations calmly and without complaining. God, please help me to be generous and compassionate and always looking to be kind to others and help others. Please grow in me integrity and goodness so that I might glorify you. Help me to be faithful to you and not to doubt your love and also help me to be faithful in all my other relationships. Father, please help me to be gentle and gracious towards others. God, help me to be self-controlled and have discipline. Amen. Our next song doesn't specifically mention the fruit of the Spirit, but it does talk about the fact that we need to shine from the inside out. And this song is really saying to us, it's not enough just to have the Holy Spirit living inside us. The fruit of the Spirit are not just for us to keep on the inside and for our own good. They are for us to show to other people that they are to make a difference to the way that we uh, live and the things that we say and do. So let's uh, think about how we want the Holy Spirit to come into our lives and shine out to the people around us as we display the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. Let's sing together, Shine from the Inside Out. Shine from the inside out So the world will see that you live in me Shine from the inside out So the world will see that you live Send me. 